Hello, this is Ken Saldane. I'm with uh, SimpleTutorials.net, and <coughs> I'm starting this Inkscape Tutorials for Beginners series. A, I will be going over each one of these items, and basically this is to help others with uh, Inkscape. You know, this this is a Inkscape is a vector drawing software tool that is really unbelievable because it's free and um, it's just a you know if you don't have Adobe Illustrator and you don't want to buy Adobe Illustrator at the exorbitant cost that yeah, they have it priced at Inkscape is such a great alternative um, and just because it's free don't, don't think that it's no uh, don't don't think it's some kind of cheap imitation. Um, it's it's really a good piece of software. Now vector graphics. Um, this it produces vector graphics. It doesn't pr produce um, bitmaps. Although you can embed bitmaps in there and use. Um, well, you you can also export PNG files, which are bitmaps. But <coughs> its main their main reason for it even existing is creating vector drawings and <coughs> Wikipedia actually uh, talks about vector graphics and it says it's the use of geometrical geometrical primitives such as points lines curves and shapes or polygons which are all based on mathematical expressions if you look over here you see how they're trying to show you the difference between a vector drawing or vector image and a bitmap Im image. You notice that when you zoom in on a bitmap you see all these little pixels whereas with a vector you don't. So it's quite a nice tool for creating vector drawings. I'm I'm going to be going through, and this is the basically the overview. Then, <coughs> and I'm going to go through each one of these items. The tools are here on the left side, and then you have for each tool you have various entries you can make or changes to alter the way the tool uh, creates something. <coughs> and then you have, of course, you have menus up here. You have extensions and filters, stuff like that which we won't really be going into too much and and then um, and these items which you also it's just a quicker way of um, doing something within Inkscape um, I do want to briefly tell you that you can get Inkscape if you don't already have it by going to well actually you can go to Google or Bing or someone something like that type in Inkscape and then, and you don't really have to hit search, but uh, go down to the Inkscape.org, and then look around for the download, and then pick out the version of, you know, that is for your respective operating system. It can, you can get it with in uh, for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. So um, install that, and then you'll be and then you'll be ready to follow along. And if you do have two screens, it's really helpful to just follow along by having my videos on one screen or in, within YouTube or whatever, or on the website, and then having um, Inkscape on your your main screen, and then just following along and trying to do the various things that I try to show you to do. And I go in fair amount of detail. Uh, you'd be surprised at all the different key keyboard combinations you can use to to create uh, inside Inkscape. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you watch the whole series. Um, I'm sorry I don't I'm not real fast at talking but um, I think you'll get a really detailed view of Inkscape, and I think it'll be very helpful. 
So if you like this video or if you like the other videos, please um, like them and if you want to subscribe to see the full series and also other videos in the future, please do so. Now this is Kent again from simpletutorials.net. Thank you.